तो बिकॉज राशि चार्ट इज बॉडी एंड नवांश इज यू नो नवांश इज इनर सोल वॉट यू कॉल फीलिंग इंद्रिया फीलिंग नवांश यू टेक फीलिंग आई विल आई कैन नॉट से दैट नवांश डज नॉट इंडिकेट बॉडी है ना द कॉम्प्लेक्शन ऑफ द नेटिव शुड बी सीन फ्रॉम द नवांश ऑफ मून द नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रन यू विल गेट शुड बी सीन फ्रॉम द नवांश ऑफ द फिफ्थ लॉर्ड सो अपेरेंटली इट इंडिकेट द बॉडी बट एट वन लेवल इट इंडिकेट फीलिंग इसमें क्या होता है पीपल लाइक रामकृष्ण परमहंस यू से दे हैव अ डेबिलिटेटेड वीनस इन नवांश चैट सो दैट मींस दैट फीलिंग वाइज ऑन अ फीलिंग लेवल ऑन अ मेंटल लेवल दे डोंट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ वीकनेस रिलेटेड टू सेक्सुअलिटी यू से शडरिपू इट इज नॉट कमिंग इनटू शडरिपू नवांश शुड इंडिकेट शडरिपू मोर डिटेल राइट सो यू नो दिस Sexuality is not a shadripu, despite the fact that if you check shadripu from the sixth house, Ramkrish Paramans have Venus in the twelfth, uh, second house. It is right, but you know, so he is not having it. But people having Venus in twelfth house can have sexuality as a shadripu, provided the fact Venus is not weak in D nine chart. If it is weak in D nine chart, the shadripu will not come because D nine indicating desire. If Venus is debilitated there, it indicates one may lose the desire of sexuality at one point of time, which will be problematic for the spouse, not for the native. Though, but the perversion that comes comes from always from the rashi chart so any time you will see a debilitated venus in the rashi chart you will have to understand that the native is very much attached to the body of the opposite gender because of this perversion can come one point another is lagna lord connected to seventh house because the lagna indicates your body seventh house indicates marriage Your body and basically body, right? मतलब राशि जहाँ डिस यू एंड लगना इस योर बॉडी दैट इस देयर बट व्हेन वी से लगन तनु भाव लगना इस तनु तनु बेसिकली मींस बॉडी राइट सो इवन व्हाट इस द कंबिनेशन ऑफ यू से इस मेलिफिक कनेक्टेड टू नाइन्थ हाउस फादर में हैव मीट विथ सम एक्सीडेंट But how do you know that body will get impacted? Lagna Lord have to play a role in this, right? Lagna Lagna Lord dispositor of Lagna Lord will come only then the body will be damaged. Sixth house also you take you no know, sixth house indicate accident. So there can be accident and you can come out of that accident without having any trouble or there can be normal issues, right? Related to the body, not like you know completely losing a body part or things like that. Completely losing a body part and things like that. Lagna have to come into play. So when Lagna Lord is connected to seventh house, in that scenario also, person is very much connected to the marriage, connected to the spouse, particularly bodily connected to the spouse. So ये जो दो चीजें यहाँ पर हो रही हैं and eleventh house indicate desire. काम त्रिको ना है ना काम is desire eleventh house is the last of it, right? So both third, seventh and eleventh are the काम त्रिको ना indicates desire. काम is equal to desire. तो horoscope में क्या हुआ है? Venus in seventh house. Lagna Lord expecting the seventh house and Lord, and eleventh Lord expecting the seventh house and Lord gives the person a very high libido. So this is not a person in that category who can say that okay, even if I am not getting a sexuality, love is something other than sexuality. It can be for you and me. It is not for him. The person is very much attached. So that is the point number one. But the point is, this Venus is weak. Now Venus is also your sexuality, and this is becoming weak. Mercury is the seventh lord, which indicates sexuality. That is, I will not say weak. Mercury is in own Rashi, but because Mercury, own Rashi planets also give multiplication. There is combination of having a multiplication. Now the approach of this person is, and also there is an aspect of Saturn over it, which indicates dissatisfaction. And Jupiter is very sensual. I will tell you. and jupiter does indicate sadistic pleasure provided the fact seventh house seventh lord is quite into affliction jupiter raped mamata who was the elder uh, who was the wife of the elder brother of jupiter at that time mamata was pregnant and when the child resisted you know the vedic stories right child is resisting and child is saying few things when the child resisted jupiter caused him to be born blind and because he is jupiter he can do so and the pretty child 
he could not do anything right other person is jupiter but what do you understand by the from the uh, what do you understand from the story about the nature of jupiter that he is very arrogant planet very arrogant right so there is only one planet in the complete zodiac about whom there is a story related to rape there is no other planet as such right jupiter is the problem so in this case there is high libido there are chances of multiplication and there is chances of dissatisfaction so this person because there is a multiplication factor will want to have multiple relationships the person will be very much related to sexuality and because of mercury the image planet situated in the 7th house and saturn another you know influencing the 7th house the person will never be satisfied right because hota kya hai dekhiye what i understand the person if you देखिए द वैदिक कॉन्सेप्ट इज एक बार तत्व का ज्ञान हो जाने से इच्छा नहीं उत्पन्न होती है यही पॉइंट है वीनस मर्क्री मर्क्री इज डेबिलिटेटेड व्हेन वीनस इज एक्सोल्टेड वीनस इज डेबिलिटेटेड व्हेन मर्क्री इज एक्सोल्टेड वेरी डुबियस फ्रेंडशिप इट इज वीनस इज द ओनली प्लैनेट व्हिच इज गुड इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल हाउसेस एक्सेप्ट फॉर द 6th एंड 7th हाउस इट इज गुड इन एवरी हाउस आई बिलीव बेस्ट वीनस इज अलोन वीनस व्हिच इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट इन रेयर सिनेरियो to have kyunki if you take venus mujhe lagta hai a major trait of the planet we should understand how a major trait works best love is selfless love love without desire and all sort of things and this selfless love will come when venus is alone so alone venus is best venus venus with planets will always get diluted this is one point Regarding Venus, uh, Venus will generally be conjoined with either Mercury or Sun or both. So that is this is the fact that people cannot love wholeheartedly because you know ego and other issues will come up. I think the best condition for the Venus is one Venus is alone. Secondarily, between Venus and Mercury, there is a third planet. Because there is a Gemini concept, it comes very later on. That. Saturn in the Rashi of Saturn in the Rashi of Venus, Sun is debilitated. So if Venus is with Sun, Sun should be considered as debilitated because the debilitation impact that is there in Libra, a little bit of that impact is also carried on by Venus. So it is like a debilitated Sun if Sun is with Venus. So Mercury with uh, Mercury with Venus, what happens because Venus is debilitated in the Rashi of Mercury, Venus gets the debilitation traits. mercury is debilitated in the rashi of jupiter mercury have no such traits as such but you know mercury jupiter combination we are saying that the person is over intelligent over thinking bitching and all such things and but still jupiter is a planet who will save mercury generally is not a planet who will save best venus is alone venus otherwise if in a venus mercury combination that will generally happen i believe if the combination is happening with a third planet in between that is very good expecting third planet is not good because that will not disrupt the influence but if there is another third planet in between right sit, sitting in the same rashi then it is a better setup as compared to any that is a better setup no as such planet should be situated there acha isme ek aur scenario hai we need a rashi where both are good mercury is also good and venus is also good and this will apparently never happen in the rashi of mercury in the rashi of venus it will happen in taurus it will happen in libra it will happen because uh, mercury will not be debilitated in virgo it cannot happen in gemini this will generally not happen or in the rashi of saturn the result is good right because in the rashi of saturn you know saturn is friendly to both so saturnian rashi venusian rashi is good other rashis are not good particularly the rashi of mars and mercury is very damaging for the combination if there is a third planet it is very good otherwise better to have a venus that is alone alone venus is best venus if you ask me usi mein sabse zyada maza hai venus mein but venus alone milta nahi hai kyunki venus alone wale ki zindagi itni badhiya hogi wo kabhi consult karne nahi aayega aapse uski hai hi badhiya hai right because they are able to feel everything to greatest extent right wo alone venus person is very spiritually advanced i believe right because you know the true love of god me and you cannot feel he can feel you know people like ramkrishna paramahansa you know they have a singular venus so they can feel that love to a great extent right he can just imagine he can uh, have so much trust in an idol that this idol is real that he is sitting and crying in front of the idol hamara samne koi 2 minute to statue ho jata pehle bhi to mar gaya lag raha hai kya kya ho gaya isko itna kharab trust hai hamara na kyunki venus aur planets ke sath na self less love nahi kar sakta venus jaise planet ke sath hai ka dilution happens with planet like venus because venus is a 
there is word used for venus that means pure i just forgot the word there is a word that means pure any planet which comes with venus any aspect that comes to venus disturbs that purity and venus goes bad or with this combination of sun uh, mercury venus mercury bad house is a good house kendra is certainly not a good house because kendra as a house does not only comes with blessing it also comes with power once you give power to rajasik planet the nature of the person will become rajasik and rajasik nature you don't have a hope for it so either they should be in 2 6 8 12 houses that is good a 6th house is not very good for venus but 6th house venus gives people generally have a lot of control over their emotions and are generally not impacted by others third house is a good position fifth house is a good position ninth house is a good position 11th house increases a lot of attachment for venus the best house that is told is 12th so 12th house venus is best lekin problem ye hai ki it will be affecting the 6th house and it will produce shatripu related to venusian factors so for that you will need a weak venus in d9 if the venus is in the 12th house ye sare acche acche setup hai venus sabse harmless planet hai वैसे लेकिन क्योंकि हम वीनस से बहुत अटैच रहे तो इसलिए बहुत प्रॉब्लमेटिक है अदरवाइज तो बहुत है कुछ ज्यादा गड़बड़ नहीं करता सर जो एग्जांपल चार्ट अभी लिया था हमने हाँ उसमें अगर आप सैटन के साथ मार्स को बिठाते हैं तो आपने बोला था कि ये डरपोक होगा बंदा तो हाँ सैटन अब सेवंथ हाउस को देखेगा तो विद मार्स तो ये एक्स्ट्रा मैरिटल अफेयर में जाने की सर वो नहीं डेयरिंग नहीं करेगा 